Hello, friends. I think it goes without saying that each one of us wants to live comfortably and not want for anything. Most people frequently ask themselves, how can they get rich quickly without investing too much effort? But as I'm sure you understand, there is no universal method for becoming a millionaire in an instant. The wealthy people of the planet have amassed their capital in a variety of ways, which shows that there is no one method for becoming rich, no matter how much we might want to find one. As a rule, the path to wealth is quite difficult. It requires a lot of effort, time, and sometimes financial investments. However, there are also those cases when completely ordinary people become millionaires in totally strange and inconceivable ways. It is especially interesting when wealth comes unexpectedly. Today, I will share with you a story that clearly shows that everything is possible. Fate can prepare a pleasant surprise for you even when you are not expecting it. The protagonist of our story today is Gary George. He studied mechanical engineering at a university and was even able to get an internship with NASA, which was a dream come true for the young and poor student. I think it goes without saying that back in the 1970s, university students did not tend to have a lot of expendable income, which is also the case today. In order to make some money, Gary bought old tape reels at a government surplus auction at Ellington Air Force Base in Houston. Of course, he hoped to resell them with markup to local TV channels. In total, Gary bought over 1,100 videotapes for which he paid only $218. Most of them were old and had no value except to lovers of old things and maybe people working in television. It's important to note that he spent almost all of his money on the videotapes, but his idea for easy income did not come to fruition. He did manage to sell some of them. After a while, he sold eight tapes for $400 total, which was more than a satisfactory sum of money for that time, especially for a student. However, he was forced to keep all the other tapes. Time went on. Gary's internship at NASA ended, and he left the walls of the government agency. When moving, he wasn't sure about what to do with such a large quantity of tapes and even thought about throwing them all out. However, something stopped him and he loaded everything into his old pickup truck and took them home, where the boxes of tapes were safely thrown into the attic. It's probably hard to believe, but that's where they stayed for 38 years. Over the years, George gave some of the tapes away to his friends, donated some to a local church, and repurposed some of them. He considered his venture to be one of the worst ideas of his life. Gary's life was the same as that of other Americans. He had an ordinary job, the salary of which made it necessary to live somewhat frugally. His family had several disputes about what to do with all the junk, especially when the house was being renovated and his wife wanted to throw everything into a landfill. We would have never found out about this story if, as you probably guessed, things didn't drastically change one day. Once in 2008, Gary's grown son was cleaning the house. When he was taking junk out of the attic, out of the corner of his eye, he saw an inscription that said, Apollo 11 EVA. He later recalled that he thought it was strange that his dad had never mentioned it. The date on the reel said July 20, 1969, which is an important day in the history of mankind because that's when the Apollo 11 module landed on the moon. That evening, he talked to his dad, and they decided to leave the boxes alone for the time being. They were very interested in seeing what was on the recordings, but they didn't have the right equipment to view them. However, soon afterwards, they found out something they couldn't even imagine in their wildest dreams. Gary went on vacation and by mere chance met an acquaintance who was working at NASA. They had beers and talked for a long time. During their conversation, the topic of the lost recording of the 1969 moon landing came up. At that point, Gary realized what was happening and told his acquaintance that he was pretty sure he had the recording at his house. The men said goodbye, and in two days, Gary received a phone call from his friend who said that Gary was expected at NASA. The negotiations with the agency were successful, and soon afterwards, Gary George was given access to a room with the necessary equipment. The sound and images on the tape were recorded and transmitted by a camera that was installed by the astronaut Neil Armstrong. It is hard to believe, but that camera is still on the surface of the moon today. The magnetic tapes were in excellent condition, 
and were digitized that same year without any loss in quality. The recordings were 144 minutes in total. Historical moments that are important for all mankind took place during those minutes. The moon landing footage was amazing. Gary watched what was happening and couldn't believe that the tape spent so many years in his attic. He was especially struck by the recording of Neil Armstrong's first steps on the moon, which featured his famous quote, that's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Other than that, the recordings also featured the placing of the American flag and a conversation between Buzz Aldrin and President Richard Nixon. It is important to note that a few years prior, in 2006, NASA officially declared that it had lost the original recordings of the 1969 Apollo 11 moon landing. In 2008, fate accidentally brought together Gary and a NASA worker who, no matter how unbelievably it sounds, was involved in trying to find the missing tapes. When Gary bought the tapes as a former poor student, he had no idea that they were so valuable. He only began to suspect it when his son showed him some of the reels. After the lost tapes were found, great changes happened in Gary's life. An ordinary man who could only dream of having a big house and a nice car suddenly became one of the world's luckiest retirees. Gary George decided to auction off the unique recording of Apollo 11's moon landing at Sotheby's. In 2019, the tape was purchased for $2 million. 2019 was the 50th anniversary of the moon landing. It turns out that those recordings were the last surviving original tapes. For many years, NASA assumed that the recordings were lost forever. When they were found decades later, it was an incredible discovery and achievement. The protagonist of our story, Gary George, is now 70 years old. He lived in Las Vegas his entire life and had seen a lot of things over the years, but he certainly never suspected that a purchase he made in his youth, which he considered to be an unsuccessful venture his whole life and almost threw out twice, would make him a millionaire decades later. Gary is planning on buying a house, a car, and maybe a yacht with the money. In retirement, he really wants to travel around the world with his wife, see as many countries as possible, and learn something new every day. What else could he possibly need? Do you agree? We wish Gary George a lot of health. Spending $2 million in retirement is not as simple as it seems. An accidental purchase years later turned a middle-class man into a millionaire in an instant. Fate often gives us hints. If you manage to notice them and use them, it will help you on your path to success. Friends, that's the story. Have you ever made a valuable purchase? Describe your most profitable ventures in the comments. That's all for today. See you soon. Bye.